my name is Priyank Raj Sharma and I'm going to talk about text classification using ULM fit uh, and the main reason for using ULM fit is we can utilize uh, the concept of transfer learning for text classification so let me move on to the next slide which is our agenda slide in which uh, I'll give you a brief introduction about what is text classification and how deep neural network can be utilized for text classification and uh, the, the second thing we are going to talk about is how transfer learning can be utilized for text classification and then what are the methods that we have used so this is uh, based on a paper uh, which is for ULM fit uh, so basically we are using a ULM fit technique uh, to utilize the concept of transfer learning in deep neural network and then we will conclude uh, our overall uh, uh, discussion mm. so let me move on to the next slide so first of all what is deep neural network everyone is aware of it um, so so deep neural network started with computer vision problems when wherein they started with a MNIST problem so in but in computer vision there is a additional advantage that we get with deep neural network is the transfer learning so you might have seen Google has trained a big very big model called inception uh, on ImageNet and then and if you want to uh, train your own data, you can take the inception network, free some layers and train the inception network and you get the advantage of incep inception uh, network pre-training, which uh, Google has performed earlier, right? Now, similarly, there is something called AlexNet, uh, which also does the same thing, which is a slightly smaller model, but you can use this AlexNet also, which is again a transfer learning. Now, uh, let's talk about what is text classification um, so natural language processing has a text classification technique um, in which what you can do is you can classify the text so um, so for instance uh, you take any news channel right in news channel you will see sports you will see political news you will see something related to technology so if you have some text you can train your model and your model can actually classify this news belongs to which category so that is called text classification and there are so many applications which people have developed like for instance um, like I, uh, I mentioned in my slide like spam fraud detection and there are so many uh, such categories but now there is a problem with this now the problem is what happens is mm, like in computer vision you get an advantage of transfer learning but with NLP text classification you do not get that advantage because you have to train your model from the scratch and then if, if the data is so huge that will be a time consuming process to train the entire network again so now how to overcome this thing so that's one of the reason that paper was proposed um, using, uh, so let's see what language model is uh, how language model used for the text classification so in language model we basically find the context so for example if you look here uh, we can uh, whatever relationship men to women is there same relationship can be demonstrated using uncle and aunt king and queen so that's the power of language model but the problem is if we just use language model for text classification uh, because of the vocab size the metrics that you generate will be very sparse so how to overcome this sparsity problem so let me move on to the next slide um, which is the universal language model fine tuning so so this is what the author has proposed in this paper um, so this problem can be solved using three techniques so one is discriminative fine tuning then the slanted triangular learning rates and the gradual unfreezing so let me move on to the next slide um, so here, uh, so look at this. These are the three stages which by which this problem can be solved. The first is you take a neural network model um, and then you uh, basically, this is LM pre-training, language model pre-training. After this, you will fine tune this network and then you will perform the classifier fine tuning. So let's look uh, uh, the next slide, which is LM pre-training so in this case what we do is basically since uh, we are trying to handle um, transfer learning problem here so we would require a bigger data set so in this case what user has done is or the author has done is um, he has taken a wikipedia uh, all text 
and trained his network on Wikipedia. Now um, let me move on to the next one, which is how does he fine tune it? So if you take any stochastic gradient descent in which what we do is um, we update theta at each time step t. But in this case, what he is doing is in discriminative fine tuning, uh, he is using theta 1, theta 2, theta l instead of single value of theta for respective layer cell. So that is the change that he has made for fine tuning it since it is a problem of NLP. Uh, let's look at it this classifier fine tuning so in which um, like if you look any other neural network model the fine tuning is the very key part if fine tuning is not done properly uh, your neural network model will maybe overfit uh, your data or it will not perform at all so that in fact that is what user uh, author is also suggesting in this paper and then um, he said what we will do is we will uh, we will start unfreezing the last layer as it contains the most general knowledge after fine tuning unfrozen layers for one epoch we go to the next lower layers and repeat until we complete the layers until convergence at last layer iteration so so that is how um, this problem is solved of transfer learning using ulm fit now so basically what user did is he kept the same model same neural network model but he has changed the problem, uh, changed the process of fine tuning. So by changing the process of fine tuning, we were able to utilize transfer learning for NLP text classification as well. But we have discussed, so we have utilized deep neural network for text classification. And then uh, we have used a technique called ULM fit, uh, which gave us a power to utilize uh, transfer learning. And then how ULM fit works is, Basically, um, it is just um, it has changed the fine tuning of the network, uh, and it has different approaches like freezing layers, and then the way you update the weights of the network during the training, and due to which you can due to which you can utilize transfer learning um, for text classification process, and then I have also added references um, here. So this is the paper. And then this is one blog which I have referred uh, to prepare this presentation. Thank you guys.